Hi you guys, today we are making our cake pops and uh, with chocolate cake. I know that's your favorite, so um, let's get started. I made the chocolate cake ahead of time. The recipe will be online and be on the Moodle page. I figured why waste the time showing you how to make a chocolate cake. It's a pretty simple event. So what I did was I baked the chocolate cake in two of these, you know, nine inch or eight inch square pans, right? And once your cake is baked and completely cooled, you're, this is what you're going to use for your cake pop. So let's let's begin. Um, I already did it, you know, part of it to show, so I had some prepared for uh, to show you how they turn out. But let's begin with about a quarter. I'm using about a quarter of this cake pan, and believe it or not, this is gonna, this much of cake is going to make about a dozen cake pops. That's a lot of cake pops. So the first thing you do is take and you start mashing up the cake. And this cake recipe, uh, I have some alternate, um, you know, al alternate ingredients listed as well. If you don't want to use eggs, there's applesauce, um, whatever oil you choose to use. You do need the oil. That's really important for the cake to stick together. But you have a choice. It can be butter. It can be a vegetable oil. It can be coconut oil. Whatever tickles your fancy. Okay, here we go. This is the cake all broken up. That's absolutely perfect. That's all you want. Then you take about a quarter of a cup of, um, I made homemade icing. I will also include that recipe. Uh, you can use uh, the canned stuff. It's not as good, and it has a lot of other ingredients in it that I don't like, but if that's all you have, that's fine. So you're gonna use about a quarter cup, and that then you start just mixing it in. This is, this is how you make the uh, base for the pop. And uh, believe it or not, this will all come together. And from this, then you roll a ball, and we'll go. We'll get to that part when we, uh, as soon as we get this all mixed up. So mix it in. Now, flavor-wise, use whatever you want. This is I use just a vanilla, a vanilla, because um, I didn't want too much going on. But you can do whatever you want. You can make a yellow cake and use strawberry icing. Then, of course, you'll have a strawberry. Um, strawberry flavored cake pop. But this one's just a straight up chocolate. So there we go. It's that simple. All mixed up. This is really good texture. You kind of want it, you want it to be able to hold together. Then you get your handy dandy scoop. And let me say before I scoop all this and get every and get it made, make sure you have a tall glass or something that you can put your stick in when you after you've made your pop because you don't want it um, you don't want to have to lay it back down. So right now we're going to take a scoop. I'm going to take a good size scoop of this. And I'm going to roll it just like that. And I'm going to take and put my stick in it. I'm using uh, chopsticks because that's what I have. Um, and then you take a little bit of the icing. And the, the thing you should do is just kind of put a little bit of the icing around. This is going to, this is going to help this stick, and that will get covered up by your icing, um, your final icing job. Let me get a towel. I have one around here, so I'm gonna use this one. So that's gonna hold, that's gonna hold your pop. All right, that's basically what you do. And at this point, I'm gonna do one more for you. And then what you're gonna do when you're done with this is you're gonna chill it. It has to be chilled before you put the coating on it. So. Let me put this one in here as well. Give it just a teeny bit of icing, kind of to act like a glue, if that makes sense. Um, a little bit of glue on the edge. And when that hardens, this will be really easy to dip. Okay? So that is how you make the first part of the pot. Now we're going to chill these. And while these are chilling, I have a few already prepared that I just took out of the fridge right here. And I have these lying down. So one of the things you'll notice if you, when they lie down, they might get a little flat. So reshape it. Just give it a little reshaping. And bring over your topping. And what I'm using today is, you see right here? I've melted some Ghirardelli white vanilla flavored melting wafers. That's what I'm using. You can also just use chocolate chips, vanilla chips, whatever kind you want. I actually mix them because I wanted it to have a little bit of chocolate flavor. So you cook that in a double boiler so it doesn't burn. You want it to be nice and smooth, just like this. And in a double boiler, it won't burn. 
So here we go. We're going to take our chilled pop. And the way I found it the easiest was, was basically to sort of pour it on and then sort of run around the ball like that. The pop. Okay. And just get it all covered. Maybe a little bit more. This is nice and thick. And it'll smooth out. That's pretty good. That's pretty smooth. I think that's what you're looking for. And then you take some of your handy dandy sprinkles. Okay. And then that's when you set it in the glass. And so I have a glass over here. I'm just going to take this in. Set it in the glass. You're going to make a bunch of these and you're going to put them in the refrigerator to chill. And uh, like I said, this just that much cake makes a dozen of them. But let me bring over the others. These are ones I made earlier, just to give you an idea of how they end up looking. And I thought they turned out amazing. Check it out. There they go. All different kinds of toppings. They're they're firm to the touch, but when you when you break into them, they're they're nice and cakey and moist. And I'm going to keep them as a treat for later. But um, Pretty simple recipe. I hope you guys can follow that. Any of the things I talked about, the chocolate cake, the frosting, all these recipes will be online for you. So go ahead and have fun, and we'll see you Thursday.